Scarlet was one of my favorite pets, and uh, from the time that he was born, I took him to the park every single day. I basically lived on a street called Augusta, which was in Kensington Market. It's like a nice little kind of hippie area in Toronto. I would take Scarlet to the park every single day, and that was like our thing. Eventually, I had to uh, give Scarlet to somebody that could give him a nice big home and everything. There, there were two reasons I ended up basically giving Scarlet away. One was that Avery was coming along and I didn't want Avery to get bit by him at all. He would be very nippy. Uh, we developed kind of a relationship where he allowed me to touch him and be with him and stuff. And he also was not crazy, like he wouldn't like go chasing after people and biting them and stuff. He, he was kind of like, you could you could hang out with him, you could look at him, but he just, don't touch me. If you touch me, I'm going to bite you. So it wouldn't have been safe to have him around Avery. But I could take him to the park every single day and he wouldn't like take off or anything. He would wander around, explore, and have a good time. Another thing that's really interesting to kind of see is the birds would always kind of like the sparrows would gather and kind of follow Scarlet. In uh, one of the clips, you'll see another bird kind of like attacking him a bit. And you don't have to worry, the bird can't really hurt him. He had, he has, his skin is almost like an armor. So it's like, I wasn't really worried about the bird hurting him. It was a little bird. Some people might think, oh, you let your, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that it, it it's so interesting to think that like here in Canada there are no savannah monitors wandering around so how would a bird know that they have to protect their eggs or babies from this animal I just thought that it was kind of fascinating that even though he doesn't live in this region like it, these animals are not from here the birds instinctively already know like to protect from this type of animal. My favorite thing to do with my animals, just kind of take them to the park, let them explore, let people see them. Obviously, I make sure that no one goes near any animals that could be uh, nippy. Lots of people think reptiles are stupid, but Scarlet, every single day, when he was done going to the park, wandering around and whatever, he would always crawl into his bag so i'd carry him to the park in a bag and he would always crawl into his bag when he was done exploring so that was that just shows you know like he knew what was going on like he'd wander around do his thing come back crawl in the bag and that just meant he wanted to go home so you'll see a few videos where i'm saying the same thing over again because it's different days y you might find it interesting to see like reptile intelligence. Some people have savannah monitors that are super tame, more tame than Scarlet was, that will let you handle them a lot more. With Scarlet, I spent time with this monitor like every single day. I'd hang out with him and go to the park and like do as much as I could to kind of turn him into a tame reptile. And he just he would not become the way that my snakes will be. It, it just, it wasn't in him. Maybe, you know, after years and years or something that could have changed, but he just was the way he was. And I guess that's something to also know with reptiles to think about before getting one, because you can get a Savannah monitor for like $60. And I think that they can be amazing pets, but you have to give them enough space, you have to give them a big enough setup, and you have to be ready to work with them and know that even if they don't get as tame as you want them to, even if you can't get them to walk on a leash like some people can, that you're willing to take on that responsibility because these animals live a long time. And if you don't take care of their needs properly, they'll slowly die. So they can make amazing pets for people, but they also are a big responsibility. Reptiles are a huge responsibility. Even if they are easy to take care of, they live a long time. So hope you enjoy this. <laughs> Woo, vicious. The birds are following Scarlet around. 
Scarlet's like, just get away from me. And they're like, tweep, 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 tweep. Tell us your ways. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone. <laughs> you making a mess? Yeah, you are, you little brat. Here you go. It's so cute. Eat it. <laughs> Don't play with it. Good, good boy. There you go. One more. Oh, good. I think he finally figured it out. Well, like every day I bring him here to the park and uh, people watch. <laughs> and uh, when he's done doing his thing, like he goes to the bathroom and stuff, and then he crawls back into his bag. No, no, the snake though over there, you can pet it, it's friendly. Oh, the snake? Yeah. They're playing with it over there. Um, they do their own thing. Yeah. He's beautiful. Yeah, he's my baby. I brought him here like every day since he's smaller than half the size of his tail. This is his daily exercise. What do you feed him? I feed him uh, like cockroaches and uh mice and quail that eggs one mice too, right? that one eats rats yep dun, 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 dun. he did it <laughs> can i see your snake yeah sure that's a which one is it So every day I take him here to the park and he wanders around and does whatever he wants and when he's done he comes to this bag. But like he has a whole park to wander around. Will he make it this time? I don't know. Sometimes he messes around for a long time before going in. I think he's trying to hide from me too. He's like, I don't want you to see me go in the bag. I take Scarlet to the park. And when he's done at the park, after wandering around totally free on his own, he will crawl into this bag. Even though sometimes it takes him a while. <laughs> you making a mess? Yeah, you are, you little brat. Here you go. It's so cute. 
Eat it. <laughs> Don't play with it. Good, good boy. There you go, one more. Good boy. <laughs> oh, good, good boy. Hey, Scarlet, you're taking a nice little bath, huh? Yeah. Mm. All done your bath? <laughs> you're so cute. Hi, Scarlet, you coming out of the bath? Yes, you are, aren't you? Mm. Nope, oh, gonna go back in. Hey, baby. Hey, Scarlet, taking a nice bath? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good boy. <laughs> Scarlet, hi, hello. Just taking a big nap, huh? <laughs> 